In 2017, these moments caused a lot of confusion in pop culture. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 WTF moments in music in 2017. You know, if we ever go to the Grammys, if we ever win a Grammy, we should receive it just like this. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're focusing on shocking moments that are specific to the music industry. So, the Las Vegas shooting has not been included, as that was a cultural tragedy in general. Number 10. Taylor Swift's New Music and Image In 2017, Taylor Swift once again reshaped pop culture. First, she released her Reputation album cover, a polarizing portrait that immediately inspired internet memes. But when Taylor dropped her new single and music video, Look What You Made Me Do, she gave the world even more to gossip about, most notably her sexier image and electro sound. If you weren't sure that a new Taylor had emerged, she made it blatantly clear with her phone call dialogue. I'm sorry, the old Taylor can't come to the phone right now. Why? She's dead. <gasps> then she literally stripped down for Ready For It, proving that the old Taylor is gone for good. And as if all of that wasn't strange enough, she also introduced Taylor Swift ticks, where fans are encouraged to buy boosts to have a better chance of getting concert tickets. Number 9. Spotify Creates Fake Artists In 2016, Music Business Worldwide reported that Spotify was not only promoting fake artists, but also using the music to save money for licensing costs. A year later, the controversy reignited, as Spotify finally responded to the allegations and denied any wrongdoing. Even though set fees seem to be common in the background music industry, the lack of online social media profiles and presence on other streaming services by these artists was considered a red flag by many. So the moral of the story is that your atmospheric playlists just may be the alter ego work of professional musicians. Number 8. Meek Mill to Jail in July 2017, pop culture was buzzing about Meek Mill's new album Wins and Losses, but that now seems to be old news, as the Philadelphia MC is not available for public appearances after his past came back to haunt him. On November 6th, Meek Mill was sentenced to two to four years for violating his probation. In response, Jay-Z, Kevin Hart, and many others questioned the legal system and the racial elements at play. And this same judge that asked to be on the track asked for a shout out asked this man to do so many personal things, and I guess once those things were ignored, this is the consequences, but this ain't right. Because of Meek's fame, he was even briefly held in solitary confinement, a bizarre turn for a man that had been living publicly as a notable figure in the hip-hop world. Number 7. Katy Perry Goes in a New Direction In 2017, Katy Perry emerged with a bold new musical direction on her album, Witness. The breakout singles Swish Swish and Bon Appetit were received with mixed results, drawing an equal amount of criticism and praise. All that you want, boy. All that you can have, boy. She followed this up with a performance on Saturday Night Live that left many fans confused about Perry's new, edgy persona. While there's no way of knowing what spawned this new identity, Perry's 96-hour live stream provided some insight into Katie's past and her struggle to deal with suicidal thoughts and depression. Some critics called it a bizarre publicity stunt, while others applauded Perry for her honesty and openness. Number 6. Lil B Attacked In pop culture, Lil B is well known for cursing NBA players and for his lighthearted demeanor, but at the 2017 Rolling Loud Festival, the West Coast MC paid a price for talking about East Coast rapper A Boogie With The Hoodie. Lil B announced that he'd been attacked by Boogie, PNB Rock, and others. But rather than making matters worse, he decided to promote peace. But there's some folks that are representing the culture that need to, you know, just kick back. It ain't all about being all violent. He also canceled his show because Boogie's crew apparently took all his gear. Shortly after, the beef was officially quashed, resulting in even more confusion given the timeline of events and the violent nature of the original attack. Number 5. Lil Peep Dies at 21 As one of the leading artists of the new hip-hop movement, Gustav R, also known as Lil Peep, appeared to be on the verge of pop culture stardom. For some, he was already there, being compared to the likes of Kurt Cobain. But just three months after releasing his debut album, Come Over When You're Sober Part 1, 
Lil Peep was found dead in his tour bus during a stop in Tucson, Arizona. An accidental overdose was the official cause of death, sparking a debate on drug use in hip-hop culture, as well as the wider debate on the opiate crisis in America. Number 4. R. Kelly Allegations Since releasing his 1993 debut, R&B singer R. Kelly has had his share of run-ins with the law. In 2017, allegations emerged in an article published by BuzzFeed that accused Kelly of running a sex cult. The report revealed that the singer had physical and psychological control of six women, which R. Kelly later denied. In September, a former girlfriend came forward, alleging that R. Kelly had been abusive and controlling towards her. For two decades, allegations have been made, and the latest developments are disturbing to say the least. Number 3. Tom Petty Death Fiasco News spread that American singer Tom Petty had passed away, with many offering their usual thoughts and prayers, which made sense after the LAPD reported his death. Only, Petty was still alive at the UCLA Medical Center in Santa Monica, California. This pop culture moment gave insight into our social media habits with regards to death and how inaccurate reporting can lead to displaced grief. Petty ultimately passed away on October 2nd, as the news was delivered by his official account. Number 2. Fire Festival Billy McFarland, an American entrepreneur, had a dream. That dream, unfortunately, involved deception. When he established Fire Media and began promoting an epic music festival in the Bahamas, he managed to get celebrities to promote the event. The rapper Ja Rule was even a co-organizer, so it all seemed legit. But when people arrived for their luxury event, they didn't quite get what they'd paid for, nor did they get a concert at all. Some were stranded on the island, while Ja Rule used Twitter to deny any responsibility. Ultimately, he and McFarland were sued for $100 million, and Fire Media's founder was arrested and charged for wire fraud. People were promised that they were going to be staying in $1,000 villas, and they came with basically tents that are FEMA tents. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. But in a sense, innocent will soon behold the ignorance, blasphemous, killing our own, murdering black. Number 1. Chris Cornell and Chester Bennington's Suicides On May 18th, shortly after performing his last concert with Soundgarden, Chris Cornell took his own life. The death obviously shocked fans and fellow musicians, but it especially affected his good friend, Chester Bennington. We love you, Chris. The Linkin Park singer was visibly emotional on Jimmy Kimmel Live the following day, and he later performed Hallelujah at Cornell's funeral. Sadly, the 41-year-old Bennington took his own life two months later, the same day that Cornell would have turned 53 years old. These events shook up pop culture and raised important questions about mental health issues. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.